iframes are commonly used to give readers the context they need in one place. For instance, you might use it to embed a document that you and your team frequently reference, or to keep track of content in real time. To begin, start with your page in edit mode. Select where you'd like the iframe placed, then type open curly bracket iframe to add it to the page. In the iframes editor, sticking with a few key parameters, enter a URL. Note there are a couple of things to keep in mind when adding iframes in Confluence, which we'll come back to. Then, if you'd like to, adjust the iframe size and select this checkbox to enable full screen mode. Finally, if you'd like the option to tweak or customize the way the iframe appears, then the ID and CSS class parameters allow you to reference a style sheet which I'll do. So at this point, you can tap preview to get a rough idea of how it will appear. However, this is when you might notice that your URL doesn't load and looks something like this. And that's because there is an additional step. To keep your Confluence instance secure from potentially harmful content, the URL must be added to an approved URL list, which is managed by your Confluence admin. Once added, it should appear. And select Insert. Now publish or preview to see the results. For details on how to configure this macro, check out the iframe documentation page.